play, they want to play every game and they think that the manager leaves them out that it's because they're not doing well. It's not necessarily the case. It may just want to change things around a little bit, but as a young person, you don't see that. You just want to play all the time. And I just hope, because he's a, such a firm favourite with the fans, that I hope he gets a lot more opportunities this season. Absolutely, yeah. Speaking of opportunities, it's a big opportunity tonight for Nemanja Matic to get uh, some time on the pitch, Quinton. He needs to be up to full speed and firing for the start of the season because he will be a key player for yeah. us. I think for, uh, for Matic tonight, it's just about getting involved, solid playing, getting his first touch going, getting familiarised with the players. What a fantastic arena this is for Nemanja Matic to make his United debut. Well, this is a city that's bad about Manchester United, isn't it? You can see that by the stadium that it's all you know, nearly all red and white, isn't it? It's a great occasion for him to come and play here. I'm sure he's going to enjoy himself, and it's good for him that he can get a game early, not playing in the, the Premier League or anything like that, but playing... The loudest PA system in Europe. <laughs> Let's hope United can conclude their pre-season programme with... Season he's been training pretty much on his own at Chelsea, so... You need the lads around you just to spur you on and push you on that little bit. But listen, he's got a great opportunity to... Matic. Matic, a player that the manager clearly admires. He's won two Premier Leagues with Jose Mourinho. Adds a bit of steel in there as well, Stuart. He's a big, strong lad. Playing in a game that matters every week, where livelihoods are at stake. It's so different than playing in the 23s or whatever. Yeah, it's particularly with uh, Matic's stat there now. Well, he's shone there for... You've it's been... almost impossible to score when there's a situation like that, when everybody's on the line. It was good to see United sweeping forward like that, though, from one end to the other, for, literally from one... <laughs> A bit of space in the area. Moved away by Matty. Blinks. Damien, who knows... Quagliarella very well, they played together at um, United winning it back with their pressure inside the Sampdoria half. Matic. Spreads it to Dami. Matic. What he wants. Put him in. And here's again Matic. Sampdoria who... They're going forward United. Here's Matic, switching the play. Clinging on a bit here, Sampdoria. Just behind Lukaku. But Matic finds Mikita. Well, there's now a bit of movement down there. Matic on Lukaku. Blind tried to win it back in that area. Matic comes across. How good is that? That is fantastic. How, how good is that? What, what did you think there? I thought he's going to get a book in here. He's going to be so late in his challenge. Brilliant. A terrific challenge. The crowd enjoyed it as yeah. well. I'll tell you what, to say <laughs> this is his foot. <laughs> Call him the battle snake. Jean Paolo, his eighth job as a manager. They don't tend to last that long in, in Serie A, a year or two. And this is his second season in charge, Jean Paolo oh. of Sampdoria. And one for Lukaku to chase. There you go. He's got great pace against... Well, that little through ball was well read by Blin, but the free kick was given because the ball was played through the middle. Matic with the foul. He's on there. Certainly felt that, Lucas Ooh. Torreira. I know it felt what? Be up in a minute, running around. He's been... At, he's, but, uh, I mean, looking at the debut, lad, he's been absolutely Ooh, brilliant. Without question, I think that's the most important MOM. thing. The debut lad's been terrific.